Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Satisfactory, uh, where we're going to try and um, <clears throat> try and uh, carry on with where we left off in the last episode. Uh, oh, I've clicked the wrong button there, never mind. Okay, good. Um, right, so yes, we want to try and set up these things on all of our different mining, but these mining mark ones. Now, fortunately, they all need electricity, so it's going to be a bit of an issue to get the copper one set up. Not so much the stone one, but either way, we need to either run power down there, or I think we can actually build a generator down there. Uh, oh no, we can't just yet. So any anything we want to do, we need to run power to them. So I thought instead, we thought we'd really, really um, get the automation of the iron equipment set up and running like we have done here. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the plan. We need to set up another one of these, basically. So I'm going to... Oops, come in number one there. Uh, what do we need? Oh, we need some... I thought we got everything we needed, but no, we don't. We need some... Wire, I think that is. Ah, I think I may have just turned all my wire into cable. That might have been the problem. There we go. There we have some wire. Because you can have four outputs on these, and we've got four on that one, basically. So what we're going to do is place another one just next to it here. There we go. And then we're going to come and take that one off it. Join them up instead. Uh, oh, no, hold on. Uh, with two, there we go. There we go. And then that one can join up over there. There we go. It should all still be running. Yep, yeah, looks okay. And now, but now this one can go over to here. And we'll see if that gets going. Yep, yeah, good. So that's iron. We need it to come into one of these next, which is a, a smelter. Uh, we need some iron rods for that. And then we're going to use these ones. We're going to actually use this one to make iron rods. Um, so that's going to be the plan anyway. So we'll knock out a few of those. Because their plates and rods are your two basic iron resource. So that's what we want to try and do here. So uh, smelter needs to come in pretty much I mean it can sit right there what I'd like it to do you see is come round so we can have our storage lined up here that's going to be the long term plan whether or not it works like that or how much moving we have to do we'll soon see there we go iron is now going into the smelter the smelter itself isn't being powered though so let's uh, oops let's power that Okay, how many can we not have any more of that? No, we've got four or four and we've got four or four. Okay, well we'd probably branch one off there, I guess. Over to another one here, maybe. Okay, so that's making iron ingots. So the next thing we need is a constructor. Um we need oh we need three big old things for that. Why is this going so slow now? Or is that just how slow it was going? Hmm, okay. It's doing great anyway. We've got a hundred of them in there. That's good. So I'm going to take those. Whoops. There we go. And we can make we can make the three we need. That's good. Okay. Constructor. I want to put it over here somewhere. So it kind of runs alongside this one, but it doesn't have to be sort of spot on. But somewhere like that would be good. Hmm. Let's see, can we get it in? I guess I put it there, I'm not so sure the conveyor belt will be very accessible. So how about we put it... How about we put it right on an angle? Like that. There we go. Not too sure whether we're going to be able to do a, uh, a thing off here. No, look, it's, enclo it's encroaching clearance. Uh, we need to take you apart then. So hopefully, by doing that, we gain all our pieces back. We do, I think. Good. Uh, in that case, I guess we need to move these a bit. Um, I mean, that's going to... That's going to completely shut us down for a moment while we get this sorted. But that's okay. Uh 
let's go. Okay, there's the in, there's the out. Okay, so let's go. Let's put it here. No, I don't think we're going to get it in there, you know. I don't think it's going to fit. Let's see if we can do it a bit more sort of alongside the other. Let's see. Do we think we're going to get a conveyor belt into there? Hmm. No, look, we're, we're encroaching. Who are we encroaching on there? Is it this one? Okay, well, this can come over a little bit, can't it? Yeah, the smelter can come out of the way a little. Um, so let's do that. There we go. And we'll replace a smelter. Pretty much just a little further over. There. Okay, so do we have to take back that conveyor belt? And that conveyor belt. And then... The belt has an invalid shape. Oh dear. What about... What about that? No, it's just too tight, isn't it? Uh, oh my word! Okay. The other one I know we need to... Uh, oh, they're separate bits, look. I think I know we need to keep in the right place is that one because that's working from the mine. So there is very little we can do about that one. Uh, okay, so the plan is here is for that one to go into there. Let's just see if we can do that. Ooh, 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 up and over. Hello. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Bit of rock. Clip it a bit of rock, but I'll live with it for now. Oh, we can get on these. <laughs> okay, so that's that's going to go to there, which goes to there. So all we need to do is put a smelter in the way now for this one. So we should be able to do it like that. Uh, and then there. And then that goes there. Okay, I f that just had stuff in it, did it? Okay, so that goes to there. Goes to there, and then yes, another storage unit here. I don't know whether or not we've got what we need for storage, but yes, we have good stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, they can. Oh, they can stack. Hmm. Ooh, kind of making them want to stack, you know, because they can. Can I get to it, though? Yeah, okay. So now, conveyor belt. Oops, conveyor belt from here. Can we just pop it up there? <gasps> Ooh, lucky Lou. Lucky Lou at that. Okay, now we need to replace our power poles. Back in, so I'm going to put one. Oh, I'm on a, I'm on a conveyor belt. I'm going to put one. What do we not have? Iron rods. How do we not have iron rods? We picked up two of these. Oh, I guess maybe storage used them. Oh, sorry. Click, 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 click. Lots of iron rods. Um, should we try that again? Do we have what we need for a couple of these now? Yes, we do. Okay, so one. I want one in the gap here. All right, and then I w that's going to do one. Okay. Mm, God, we need quite a few of these, actually, then. So we need another one here. And another one, I guess, over here somewhere. Right, there's the three. Cable, we've got no... N oh, no, no, we are saying we have got it, right? Okay, so from there to there. And you can do you as well. All right, and then this one here is going to do you and you, and this one here is going to do you 
and you. Ooh, and you. And you. And then the last one off here comes to do that one. And I think if we've got power now, that should kick everything into place. It's, uh, we're still kicking over here with loads of biomass in there. That's good. And over here, we've got biomass as well. Um, okay. All right. It took us a little while to get there. <laughs> but I think we're up and running. Now, all we need to do now is tell this thing what to make. So let's go in here and set it to be iron rods. Uh, that's waiting on ingots. It's not getting any. Why is it not getting any? Ah, iron ingot. There we go. That's now producing ingots. Let's hope this stone doesn't bother them. I can't imagine it will. Okay. So now... Iron goes to ingots. Ingots go to what should be rods. Come on, rods. Yeah. And then rods head up here. Boom. Into this storage container. Why is this not making anything now? What are we short on here? We're not getting any ingots in here. Is that because it's new? Yes, it is. There we go. We've moved it, didn't we? Now, ingots go. So we've got rods and plates now. Rods and plates. Okay, and we can also have a third iron mine down there as well. There's a, there's a room for a third one. So that's good. We've got rods and plates coming in. That's going to give us the 150 of each that we need. We need 500 copper and 30 concrete. Um, and I'm hoping that will either give us a portable uh, energy source... Or, um, like, splitters would be good. Like, conveyor belt splitters would be really good. So, for now, I'm just going to take you and let you carry on. Here, I mentioned the last episode, I think there's a way up. I think we can sneak up here. Yeah, we can. Oh, God, that's good. So, that saves having to run all around. And a little jumpy here. And... Is it another jumpy? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. So we can find where we're going as well. Wow, look at that. Because, yeah, at the minute, we if we put a mine thing on here, it wouldn't be powered. And I don't know whether or not the electricity would run that far. I mean, it might do. It probably will, actually. But that's very messy. It's very inefficient, I think. Just having big old cables running all over the place. Um, so instead... For now, I'm kind of happy. Oh, my headphones are falling off. I'm kind of happy with my iron setup. Let's just see. Let's just see. If we come from here, if we split this into two, basically, have this one deal with all that sort of stuff, and then this one head down there using these. What do you reckon? I can make three just off the top of my head. All right, let's do let's do one there. Actually, there's no need. if we're just doing a one split, there's no need for us to do it like that. We can just go like this. Let's see if we can at least get concrete set up. So, one there. Alright. And then, I'm a I'm going to guess that there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a length on this. Hold on, let's have a look. Can't afford. What do we need? Oh, literally just some wire. Okay, let's get some wire and see then. Because maybe, if it will let us drag really far out cables, then... Oh, not a space in inventory. Okay, well, we have storage. What do we not need at the minute much of? Um, well, I'll tell you what. Let's Rather than using inventory there randomly, let's go and add our inventory to these. So Because we, we've got 88 of these things. Look, they can go in there. Uh, and we've got 41 of them. We can add the, our 11 to those. There we go. Okay. I just realised we don't have our widget on hand as well, which we need, because every now and again, there are nasties out there. Okay, so now we should be able to do loads of copper. Look, it'd be really good to be able to get that automated, because then we've got both basic materials and concrete as well. If we get concrete turning straight into stone, uh, sorry, stone, excuse me, straight into concrete, that'd be ace. i make a load of wire, because there's going to be an awful lot of cabling needs going on here. 
Uh, and let's try that again. So, power line from here. First of all, let's just get you wired up to where you need to be. Um, which is going to be that one. But there's already a cable on it. So, let's take you off. And then... That sounded like everything shut down over here. Oh, these things are telling me there's not enough power. Is that what that is? Let's have a look. Yeah, the capacity's... Yeah, capacity's cut out. Pull lever to reset fuse. Oh no, we are. We're capping out. Look, production and consumption is higher than capacity is. Uh, okay, so we do need one of these in here then. And now we don't have any iron rods because I've just put them all away. Like a moron. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. So, what we need to do is basically rejig this. Right? So is that that can come to there and that can go to there. That should kick everything back in again. Boom. We're back in business. For now at least. Okay. So. Cable. From there to there is doable. Good. Okay, and let's see how far we can go out then. So from here, if we can get all the way over here, I'd be pretty amazed. Wow, it looks like we can. Okay, so I'll stick a power line because we'll have a we'll have a, a, a concrete creator here as well. Actually, do we have a concrete creator? Because I, I say a concrete creator, I'm making up a word there, because because the other ones require smelters. I don't know what actually turns it into concrete. Maybe it's a... No, what's up with you? You've, you've cut out. Is there just too much power going on? Have we just got... We, is there just not enough power going in here, yeah? No power. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay. So I'll tell you what then. Can we... There's nothing in that one. That might be the problem. And there's some mulch in that one then. Okay, so we've got wood. Let's just see if wood biofuel here... Biomass, excuse me. Oh. Can't make much of it. Okay. Is that going to be... Any better? Uh, I have no idea what that looks like. There's biomass. Is wood biomass separate, or is it all just to make the same stuff? Wood. Ah, oh, I think it all just goes to biomass. Okay, so biomass in there. Right. I think the problem then was just that we ran out of biomass in each of those, so we need to we need to definitely just pick up trees and wood whenever we see it. There's some leaves. I dropped those before. Made a nice, neat box, though, didn't it? Uh, okay, so now we should be able to come over here and stick a... Marker one, we need some concrete and we need our little miner. Okay, so we'll just pick this dude up. Oh, because that'll give us 100 lim limestone and a miner. And then we'll come over here and transfer some of that limestone into concrete. And I'm guessing it's it's a, is it a creator they call it? A constructor, I imagine. Let's have a look with the constructors we've got. Figure constructor recipes. Yes, we can do concrete on a constructor. Okay, so in that case, we need to come in here. We need to make a, a little bit of concrete. Okay. Now we can come back over here with our Mark 1 miner. Stick it on to... Let's point it roughly towards the base. Okay. And then power that up. That should start mining stone. Perfect. Okay, and then next then, let's see if we can get a constructor in front of it. What do we need for that? Three reinforced bits of steel. Okay. That should be easy to do because we now have a supply of both rods and steel. Uh, sheets, that is. Sorry, iron, even. We now have a supply of both of those, which is what we need because the rods make screws... 
So I'll come down here, I'll make a load of screws up. There we go, and you can see the reinforced iron plate number go up. We might as well make a load of them, why not? Interestingly, we don't need any for the hub. Uh, not enough space in the inventory. Okay, what can we... I'll tell you what, let's start filling this up then with stuff. So, sheets, concrete, wire, rods. There we go. It gives us a bit of... We've just put all our sheets and sheets and rot sheets in there, haven't we? Uh, let me just take those back a minute. Can we not? Ouch. Okay, that's permanent. Right, well, that's fine. We've got another two stacks of the things in here. So don't worry about that at all. Hoppa! There we go. We can do ten of them now. Good. All right, good stuff. I like it. Uh, it is very much one of those, oh, yeah, forgot about this, and that needs that. It's a bit like a Rube Goldberg machine, isn't it? You know, each little bit needs the little bit ahead of it or behind it. Um, constructor. Let's just hope this doesn't affect the power too much. So the constructor's going to go there. Okay. And then a bit of the old uh, conveyor belt. Joining them up. Knocks the stone there straight into the constructor. We're going to set the constructor to construct concrete. And then, well, do we run a do we run a conveyor belt all the way down here to line up with our storage? Because eventually, what I'd like to be able to do is kind of live, so to speak, here. Just sort of stay here, and then here we can go boop, boop. We've got what we need, we've got what we need. It'd be nice to be able to name these so you can hover over them and see. That would be pretty neat. Um, I think that's probably the way to go, you know. So, organization, storage. Uh, iron rods. Literally in front of us. How good's that? There we go. Storage. Let's try that again. Whoops. Storage. Yes. Okay. Conveyor belts then. Let's see. We've got 46. Let's. We might as well grab a load ready because we're going to need more than that, aren't we? Conveyor belt there. Oh, man, if this works. What's it need? Concrete? Okay. Well, we. I tell you what, then let's go from this end because we've got a concrete maker now. <laughs> I guess it is concrete for the little foot things occasionally. Oh no! That's our. F that's my fault. I say our fault. It's not your fault. You didn't know. You weren't to know, were you? You're probably screaming at me that I hadn't done it. Uh, okay. Do you know what? We'll go and get some ourselves because if it's the only thing we're doing, it's actually quicker to go and uh, just go and manufacture some ourselves. To be honest, I'm sure we've got limestone. There we go. We've got loads of limestone on us. So we'll knock all of that into concrete. Might as well turn it all in because again I don't think limestone has a has a reason to exist to be honest. There we go. We're getting up with one limestone left. Yes, of course we are, because why wouldn't we? Um okay, let's try that again. We should now be good to go here. Bringing it all the way down. Let's let's cap it off there then. To keep it neat. Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck inside my own manufacture. I am as well. Look at that. Okay. You'd think they'd just, yeah, just kick you out. Never mind. Uh, let's come down here then and this time step to one side. No, no, no. You were doing alright. There we go. Look over here. Make sure we're not clipping so much. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Can we go to there? Okay. No, no, no. Oh, too long. All right. Well, let's do it to there then. And last one. And that should start bringing out beautiful concrete. Concrete now going down there into storage. All right, awesome. I think, yeah, main thing we need to really think about then is is just uh, keeping the old biomass up. So I'm going to come down here and grab a load of, I don't know, leaves. 
And wood, yeah, it'll do. It'll comes to make the same stuff, doesn't it? I think. I think the idea it all goes to make biomass, but maybe the wood gives us more more biomass per per item, I guess, or something. I think. Oh, that could be coal. <gasps> Press and hold coal. I didn't even know coal was a thing. I'll take it all. Now I wonder if we have to turn this into biomass. Talk it perfect timing. No, is that that's not actually a coal mine there, is it? I don't think. I don't think this, we could probably put something on there to create coal. That'd be really useful if we could just convey about coal into them, because then we're completely autonomous. We start thinking about other goodies then, can't we? Oh, let's go and turn all this into biomass first. Uh, biomass from leaves. I think that's the idea, isn't it? Is that leaves gives you a little bit of biomass. Wood gives you not as much. But it all, it's, all the, it's definitely the same stuff, isn't it? It all just goes there to biomass, yeah. Okay, so... How much have you got in there? You've still got 94 in you. You just need a load more in you, don't you? Uh, I'll tell you what then, let's... Let's split it, like, to thirds. So you go under a 50. And you get the other. And then you're, you're roughly going to be neck and neck then as, as stuff comes in. So let's have a look. Are these all working? Let's see. There are 40 concrete in there. There are 152. That doesn't seem very many. Is that working? Yeah. And there are 60 rods in there. Again, rods are working. I can see them moving. Sorry, I'm just sitting myself up a little bit. Okay, so the last thing we need then from this whole automation jobby is uh, is the the um, the copper up here, which I don't again, I don't think we're quite ready to automate. I don't think we're quite ready to automate because it would it, we could probably run the electricity from there, I guess, up. Uh, yeah, we could probably just run the electricity from there up actually. So let's 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 have a little think about that. Have we got all we need? No, we need copper. Okay, let's get some copper. Let's get some wire. Because if we're going to do it, we might as well do it properly, eh? And get that final base upgrade before we can move on. So, uh, copper ring. So we've got 200 copper ingots here. Look, we could just... We could... Do you know what? We could make the... We could do the upgrade now. We're just waiting on rods, I think. I think we need about another 30 rods or something. And we're there. But I definitely think turning a lot of these iron ingots. Now, the other thing I've noticed as well is, seeing as we're not making much of it anymore, is it worth us actually holding on to um, to this iron here, or should we drop it? That's just put one in there, hasn't it? We just seem to have an awful lot of it. What about here? Can we put it into there? No, see, that only carries 100 as well. I guess at some point we're just going to have to turn it into ingots ourselves. Okay. Let's, um... Let's go from there. Let me click you. Let me click you. Let me click you! Or is it... Alright, there we go. All right. Oh, God, nearly lost my arm. Over the top of them, then, I guess. To, like, here. Just check we're not mega-clipping anything there. I mean... Little bit of clippage is bound to happen, but that should be pretty good. And then we'll go from you up the hill. And you'll tell me when you're too light, too long or too wide. There we go. There. And then from there, can we do one more? Yeah, okay. And one more will get us up to here. Now, the reason I'm doing one up to here rather than just going straight into the miner is just because it gives us it gives us some options really um, 
for, for doing stuff, you see. You need to hook up to this connection. Yeah, there we have, right? Yeah, that's good. So, a Mark 1 Miner, remind me. We have everything we need apart from the Portable Miner. Perfect, so we're going to pick you up. Have we not got any room in our bag? We haven't got any room in our bags. Um... Okay, let's let's just drop one limestone for a minute. And what else have we got a couple of? One, what are you? One iron ore. Yeah, off you pop. Uh, oops, okay. So now we can, should we just pick you up now? There we go. Um, let's just hope nothing crazy happens when we put this on top of them. Okay, so this time we want it to sort of point that way, isn't it? Like, there. I know we should be able to pick up these odd little bits now if it lets me. No, we're just going to live there forever, are you, you crazy fools? Two, power line to you. You should now start producing copper. Nice. Okay, now, here's the next challenge. Will these things, we can higher or lower these, I think. Um, oh, I thought we could. Hold control is snap to guideline. I don't. We haven't really figured out what that means. Um, build return to menu. Oh, I guess not. Okay. So what about three? Can we get a, con a conveyor belt basically off there? I imagine not. Here we'll go, oh, and we're gonna cro die first. There we go. Um, so do we? We have to follow. At least a little bit. Follow the line of uh, line that we. No, it'd be silly to bring a conveyor belt all the way down here, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? It would, wouldn't it? Oh my word! Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's try that again from here. To let's go there then. Okay, and then from there. I, 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 that's going to be too steep, isn't it? Okay, so how about over to... If we can get over to that bit there. Yeah, okay, that's not awful. So we can now come with it. Okay, from here... It's too steep. I really did think there was a... Is it shift and shift and scroll? Or control and scroll? Or alt? Alt and move? Uh, okay, well, in that case, then... Encroaching another's clearance. What are we encroaching the clearance of? Is it going to be this thing, is it? Okay, so... That's fine. We're going to move you... To here. And link you both up. From here, can we do it? Boom, of course we can. Uh, okay, let's try that again then. Down the hill. Can't afford it. What do we need? What can't we afford? Uh, we need some concrete. Okay. Well, luckily, we are producing concrete now. So there should be, I think, some set in here. No, it's literally going out as we come. Can we just grab stuff off the off the conveyor belt? Oh yeah, we can. That's interesting. If we if we if you're quick, <laughs> there we go. We've got a hundred concrete in there now. We're smashing it. Okay. Uh, maybe right now we haven't got the multi-course ones because this is ridiculous. We'll definitely have to come back and redo this at some point. Um, oh no, it's iron plates we need. Boo hiss. Okay. 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 Tell you what, for now, let's just do this last upgrade and just see if there's anything that's going to help us out. Because at the moment, I think we've pretty much got what we need now. So, let's grab a stack of those. Drop them in. Or at least as many as we need in. Uh, there we go. Rods can go in. Uh, wire can go in. Concrete can go in. Okay. So, oops. For the rest of it then, let's drop some concrete back in there for now. 
Just really see where we're up to with everything. What's that? 28 and flower petals. All right. Uh, so we need the rods out of that one. Maybe build a, one of them foundation things up to that so we can get up to it easily. Rods. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So it's literally, I need to make 500 copper wire. And that's it. There we go. That should be more than enough copper wire to go in there and upgrade our base. That's level... F Jeez, up fire. That was a loud noise. Uh, okay, what's that done for us? Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Oh, Motivation biomass message. burner. Congratulations. You succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Okay, cool. So that's the... Additional knowledge. Oh, come on. ...has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Okay. So basically that's sort of tutorial guided missions done. The provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Okay, so that means we can maybe put those uh, uh, alien carapaces in there. ...should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. For now, flower petals, 10 flower petals... No, I want to do alien. I want, I want, I want something to kill him easier. Begin analysis. Seven and a half million. Seven and a half million years. Seven and a half minutes. Okay. Um, what did that unlock here then? Anything? Let's have a look. Power biomass burner. So that's just a, a standalone version, basically. Burns various forms of biomass to generate electricity for the power grid. Has no input and must therefore be fed manually. So that's okay. So that's something you've always got to do. You've always got to go and feed the generators. Okay, that's fine. Conveyor pole. Useful to route conveyor belts in a more controlled manner over long distances. You it says that you can adjust the height of the pole. How? How do you adjust the height of the pole? Is it an option once it's down? Let's find one. It's not something I can even jab. Um... Foundations, walls, storage container. Okay, so the only real thing it gave us was was uh, independent. And this thing, look. Jeez. Funnel resources to complete project assembly. Completing stages here allows you to unlock later tiers of milestones in the hub. Ah, okay. So that just, like, basically really up the, uh, up the ante on everything. What about here, then? Okay. Ah, okay. Utility. Biofuel. The most efficient form of biomass. Okay. Lookout Tower provides a good overview, useful for building. <gasps> Balls for bases. Oh, look. What else have we got? Logistics. There we go. Splitter and Merger. That's going to be a big thing for us. Watch this upgrade. You can see efficiency of each building. Okay. Personal storage is ourself. Uh, object scanner. Scans the immediate area for a set item. Beeps at a rate proportional to proximity. Use to mark areas of interest. Displays in this compass with the name you set on it. Conveyor walls. Okay. Walls connect to other walls and floors. Use these to make buildings with several floors. Ah, okay. Ah, wow. Oh, there's a lot to go for, isn't there? Tier 2. Part assembly. Assembler crafts two parts into another part. Ooh, that's good. That's, so that's like we can mix uh, screws and steel to make thingies that's good rotor used for crafting the moving parts of a motor and a modular frame used for crafting obstacle clearing oh a chainsaw used to clear an area of flora that is too difficult to remove by hand jump pads propels you towards oh man there's so much stuff walkway and walkways look wow okay well i think straight away this is going to be the first i want that lookout tower um and biofuel I'm interested in, so I'm going to select that. Uh, rods and slates were good. We need to finish off this uh, this copper. We need to finish off sorting this copper out. So, we've got what we need. We've just got to get it down here, haven't we, basically? Get it down to, to here, pretty much, and then run it alongside the others. 
Let me just see if we can figure this out. Number four. Return to build menu. Okay. Scroll is rotate. Control. Hold control. Snap to guideline. That really doesn't... I don't know what that's meant to do. Shift doesn't do anything. Click. Control and click doesn't do anything. Maybe because we haven't got the ingredients. Okay, let's just go and rob a... a, a, a uh, right, let's try this again. Okay. Ah ha ha! Who'd have thought to click and drag? Okay. Right, with that in mind then, let's place one of these here. Here. Right, and then let's come up this hill and get rid of all of this. Oh, so where did it go to? Yeah, all of this as well. Thank you. Right up here. Because if you're going to do something, you've got to do it properly, haven't you? So we've still got this crazy slide. But now, we should be able to go from here to long. Oh, okay. Okay. But, all right. But the, the concept's there, right? Okay, so let's just try moving it uh, shy closer then. Boom. Okay, so let's try... Where does it come from? Is it there? Yeah, okay. Let's try here then. Okay, once we figure out the sort of logistics of them and, the, and what they're able to do, we'll get a lot quicker at this sort of thing, I imagine. In the future. So from there... Where are you? Oh... Oh, it's satisfying, folks. It is satisfying. So that mean that should get us to the ground. Yeah, okay. So we might as well just go as far as we can on that. Too long. There we go. All right, then let's click you. And now you're on the ground. You kind of just become one of the standards, don't you? So what I want to do... Is oh hello, little scuttle bugs. Okay, let's go to there, uh, and I'm going to come to this one. And I think eventually you can. I'm sure I saw on one of the videos that they had there was like ladders of these. But for now, I think we're going to have to kind of do something like this. Oops, what do we need? Concrete again. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do is something like this. There we go. And kind of do it a janky way. Oh, we need more more plates. I mean we should be we should have loads of these now. I'm still not Still not as many as I thought. Why is why is none being made? What's up with you? Struggling for ingots. Why are you not making ingots? You are Don't tell me the mines ran out. No, no, it's stopping there, look. Your battery low or something, kiddo? Or have we got ourselves a... Uh, have we got ourselves a uh, alpha bug? Wait a minute, that's saying it's copper. But this isn't a copper mine. It's an iron mine. Copper ore. 
Did I put them in there? Did I put... Oh, did I put copper ore in there like an absolute moron? Right, let's just use up the copper then. Oh, what an idiot. I must have done that before when I was trying to fill them up. I didn't do it to the other one, did I? God. No, we're, looking at, we're all right over here. Okay. Okay, so let's pick up all the copper then. Uh, I'm going to need to make something quick out of a bit of copper. There we go, just to finish that off. Alright, and then go back to iron plates. That one is making plates, isn't it? Yeah, you're making plates. So you need to now be iron. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sure so many of you were shouting at me. Iron ingots, and we can drop a load of iron ore into there. Fixed. Whoops. Okay. We picked up the plates we needed, right? Um, last thing I want to do in this episode is starting to get a little bit of a long one, so I, do, I will finish up now, but I just want to put a storage unit on top here. Oh! So what I have just realised, we ha we're not actually turning this into anything. It's staying as uh, copper at the moment. So, actually, let's take all of that out um, for a moment, and that, and replace it with a smelter. Can we just snap it to there, or is it we're going to have to do it ourselves? Okay. That'll do, won't it? It's a bit out of the way. Oh, we're way off there. Let's, let's do that properly. Um, get rid of that piece from back here. That's fine. Conveyor belt into the smelter. Tell you to smelt copper. Let's run some power off you as well. Have we got any free power over here? Yeah. For now. You'll do. And then you still go into there. There we go. And then you are coming all the way up to that. It's can't afford and you're, enclo you're encroaching clearance. So how about... Do we have to get you to here? No, you're still encroaching clearance. Ooh, that's a shame. That's a big old shame. Oh, that, hmm, is that just because you're, you're high up? Let me just... Oh, that was awful. Let me just try that thing again. I think it's the... I think it's because get, it's getting in the way of this building rather than anything else. Because I don't think conveyor belts particularly get in the way of each other's conveyor belts. Can't afford, we haven't got what we need, but also, yeah, I think you're getting in the way of this, aren't you? Um, Tell you what, then. In that case, for now... Let's just so we can start storing this stuff. Let's uh, dismantle you. Dismantle you. Dismantle you. And you. There we go. And then we'll just we'll get a storage unit here. Just so it's coming in. Um, and then in the next episode, hopefully, we can start to figure out what happens next there we go let's just start pumping out iron ingots no? what's up with you? no power are we are we all shut down are we? Wee. are we just making Let's have a look what's happening. 
Yeah, I think we're, we're dead on making the right amounts at the moment. So, power. What we need is one of these then, isn't it? Wow, these really are going to start taking up a lot of uh, thingies. We need a couple of copper wires. Oh, man, this episode needs to end. Please just bear with me. I, I am finishing up. I am finishing up. But you know what? This is one of those just one more thing games, man. This is really one of those one more thing games. So where does it go in? I don't think it really matters, does it? Where's And the pipe comes off the top, doesn't it? So that doesn't really matter either. Uh, okay, well, let's plan to do two next to each other. No, still encroaching on clearance. How about here? Okay. What have I got I can put in you? Have I got anything I can put in you? What are you? Coal. Let's try coal. No, you don't you don't coal doesn't count as biomass. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh let's quickly grab something or something that here. It's a nice little setup of the stuff over here. And should a bit further. I'm interested to know what these um what these farty gases are. I can't imagine they're good. They don't they certainly don't look oh oh oh. I think that might have been hitting me then. It might have been a little bit too close. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let's head up into here. Turn that all into biofuel. And turn that into biomass 60. Yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. One piece of wood gives us 25 biofuel. That's, uh, that's pretty good. We're back in business, folks. We're back in business. Let's have a look. This is the only one I want to check. Boom. That's it. We managed to get all three of our current base materials automated. We've got concrete. We've got copper. All four, in fact. We've got copper, and then we've got the two iron ones. So the next step would be to split off this copper and turn it into a, a wire making and a... Uh, no, that was it one. It was just wire making. And then you split the wire into keeping some wire and keeping some cable. Good stuff. Right. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. Something sounds like it's just shut down. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekers and Geeks, you can do so over on our Geekers and Discord server. You'll find a link for that in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons. They make these videos possible through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. If you'd like to uh, check out our affiliate links, you get yourself some cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.